When was the last time you checked your Instagram feed? How about the last time you used Starbucks reward points to buy a coffee, or used Google Maps to tell you where to go? These products have something in common. They rely on artificial intelligence, or AI, to work effectively. We tend to think of artificial intelligence as futuristic, like a robot species that rebels against humanity. What am I? But AI is already all around us all the time. In a 2020 business survey by McKinsey, 50% of respondents said they were using AI in at least one business function. Last year, McDonald's joined Nordstrom, Capital One, and others in using AI technology in their dumpsters to identify when trash has been incorrectly put in recycling bins. And the record speed in which the COVID-19 vaccines were developed was made possible by AI and machine learning. But there are looming dangers as well. AI is only as good as the data it is given, which is subject to human error. So this is uh, what you get when you train AI to move fast. But while this can be funny when the stakes are low, it's not funny when they're high, like building a self-driving car. Then there are concerns about bias in AI. If you're not intentional about being inclusive, what you will do is perpetuate exclusion. In 2020, Amazon, Microsoft, and others announced they wouldn't sell AI-powered facial recognition software to law enforcement officials after multiple black Americans were wrongfully arrested based on the software. So what does this all mean for the future of AI? Worldwide spending on AI systems is expected to hit $110 billion in upcoming years, up from $55 billion last year. In June 2021, Walmart rolled out Me at Walmart, an app built specifically for their employees that uses AI to help with different day-to-day -day tasks. Over the coming year, Walmart says it will add to the app, like unveiling a feature that eliminates the need for employees to scan individual boxes of product before stocking them on the shelves. But we must remain vigilant when it comes to AI rollouts. Police and militaries around the world continue to use facial recognition software, and bad data will always have the ability to dangerously compromise AI. Above all, our focus must be to make AI a force for growth and for good in our world, not one that perpetuates and exacerbates our current limitations.